Hey everybody. Hi. Tim and Jerry here with Vintage and Vino. We are gonna do a haul video. I got a nasty fly buzzing me on here. <laughs> Uh, we're going to do our haul video tonight on a couple of the stores that we went to last weekend. Um, it was the Goodwill in it's Buckeye. Goodwill in Buckeye, Arizona. And you probably saw the shopping video already, hopefully. And we also went to the Enchanted Bullfrog, which was just a really cool little place. And we did some, we did some filming in there and it's, it's a neat place. And we might put this Goodwill on our route and the, and the Enchanted Bullfrog because we did well. So, grab your glass. Tim and I have a nice Cabernet tonight, which yes. is different. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get to the good Let's vintage. Let's get going. If you ever come to Phoenix area, go to the Buckeye area. The Enchanted Bullfrog, wonderful. The Goodwill, wonderful. So let's see what we got, Tim. Okay. Okay. First off. <gasps> these things. Look at these little cups. We got yeah. three of them. I'll let you hold one and okay. I'll hold two and then you yeah. can talk about it. Um, okay. So I picked these up just because I looked at them and I went, this is glass. This is cobalt and ruby and they are not flashed. They're, they're quite nice and I didn't know anything about them. Obviously, they've got a thumbprint. If you look at them, you can see the thumbprint design on them. Um, they've got a real deep recessed foot. So I got them home and I started looking them up. Well, there aren't any solds on eBay, but there are some listings on eBay calling them Cambridge from the 1930s. And they're asking some ungodly amount for them, like $47 each. Okay, so anyway, the cool thing about these, well, I went then I went on Etsy and they called them New Martinsville. They're actually asking about $28 a piece from it and their 1930s. So, nice pickup, we not even three. knowing what they were. We'll probably, oh, I would have loved to have found a fourth. I think that I am asking... 25 to 30. A piece, maybe? 75 for the three of them. Oh, okay, but you'll sell them individually. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not, not sure, but well, we'll look at that's it. That's her bailiwick. Yeah. I'm not sure, but they're in very good condition. I cleaned them up. They were kind of rough, but they're beautiful. Yeah. So that was a cool find. That was a really cool find. Another cup. <laughs> what does it say? Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, and who are those four people up there? Looks like the uh, Golden it's Girls. It's the Golden Girls, yes. Yeah. Kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, there's a lot of Golden Girl cups. And probably out there. right away in Sun um, <laughs> I don't know, but, you yeah. know, it's kind of a favorite show. It's a coffee of, cup. Not our era, but actually older era than us. Yeah, really. well, no, they were, well. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. They Just, were. we were, we were young when the show we was on. We were in our 20s. That's young. Yeah. Well. But the older people liked this show. But anyway, um. I didn't see this particular one, but there are a lot of the Golden Cup, Golden Girl Cups on there. So, and maybe we're looking at about $12.99, but I think I paid 99 cents for it. So, that's okay. Next mm -hmm. is a beautiful <laughs> grape teapot. Well, it's all kinds of fruit. There's oh, yeah. bananas where your thumb is oh, right there. Oh, that's true. There's bananas on that oh, side bananas. too. Bananas. Maybe cherries. cherries. Grapes. It's called the Fruit Calypso. Fruit Calypso. Or Calypso and Fruit. It is Fitz and Floyd from 1988. How do you like them apples? When we were shopping for this at the Goodwill, um, I passed right by it because I saw it and I really didn't. It wasn't my favorite thing, so I didn't pick it up. But Tim picked it. I think it's just quirky it's just well, really exactly nice, it, you know? it is it's unusual and um i really like fitz and floyd so we it's got a couple lemons we, back here. we agreed to grab that one and no chips which fitz no, and floyd absolutely chips kind of easy and this this is good yeah it's in really good condition really good 1988 isn't that what it says it on the says bottom? 88 yeah. on the bottom yeah so fitz and floyd 1988 40 ounce. It's vintage it's not extremely 40 ounce. ounce. But to me, 1980s was just a few days ago. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
There's a couple of little horses. Looks like miniature Clydesdales. Yeah, these weren't marked. I mean, they're obviously old, but with the white and gold. But they weren't marked. I couldn't find any others like them. A lot of heart, there's a lot of horse people out there that might like them, so I picked them up. And to have two, that's well, pretty good. Yeah, a pair of. Yeah, a pair of. Um, but like I said, I, I have no maker's mark, nothing to compare to. Yeah. I think we're looking at about $18 for the pair, which isn't bad because I don't, I don't, I don't remember what paid for them. Y'all, oh, I am geez, using though. notes tonight because I'm not going to say I do not remember anymore. The feet look look familiar. The pattern on the feet. I mean, the, really? The Let me see. A little foot and indentation. Oh. I don't know. Well, I don't know. But, but anyway, about seventeen dollars. I think we paid five for the pair. So that's not too that's not too bad. And and they might go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. That's Goodwill Buckeye. This is a giant doily that I couldn't even really begin to figure it's out what really, it's for. Yeah, it's, it's not, not really, really a doily. doily. It's crocheted. It's crocheted and it's big. But <laughs> it's like... It, see the way it goes down like this at the end? Yeah. Like that. See? I think it's a valance. I think it's a window valance. And the, the rod would be, you know, put you between put these through holes. Through these holes like that. See? Oh. Yeah. See? So, yeah. yeah, so that could really be a nice balance. I'm assuming that's what it's for. Now, I have seen them described as the the edge of a bedspread to put on as they formed the bedspread. This would have been the edge. But I don't think that's what it is because of the way it falls down at the end like this. So, um, I did not measure it before we came on today. But I will definitely measure it. I can tell you pretty it. close. He can tell us pretty close. It's it's pretty cool. I mean this this would look awesome in a it's boho. About 60 inches. Yeah, sixty about inches. About five feet. Yeah. So obviously you probably look. Crunch it up and go on a, probably a forty-eight inch window. Yeah. Pretty easy. Pretty and it nice. would look nice probably yeah. on yeah. a forty-eight. So yeah, like boho or or an old Victorian look. I mean. I think there's definitely some people that, that would like to have this. Yeah. Okay. Here's another cute little thing. I love this thing. This little Indian boy. Couldn't find another one like it. Nowhere. But look at that. I know. It's kind of lightweight, which surprises me. Light. I think it might be made in Japan. It might be occupied in Japan, but it's not stamped at all. There's not marked. Well, it does have a little number on the bottom. It has a 183 on the bottom of yeah. it there. So I don't know, but, but it, it's definitely got some age. Looks like somebody just wrote that on there. I mm -hmm. don't know what it's for, but yeah. It's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. He's very cute. And let's see, let me look at my notes. Let's see, we paid $4.41 for him. We're looking at about $18, I think, to get mm -hmm. for him. And there wasn't another one compared to, but I, there were other ones that would were that similar. Would that be a, a planter, or would it be just a little yeah. knick-knack so, tray? No, I definitely think it would be a planter, but it's kind of shallow. Yeah, what would you put in it? Maybe a, maybe succulents, yeah. or because they don't need a lot of depth, or toothpicks, or matches, or you know all the little nicky nacky things that you have. Speaking of oh, nicky nackies, it's really, really neat. Yeah, this one is occupied Japan. Yeah, he's cute. He's a little zebra. Little zebra. We've run across horses and dogs and everything oh, yeah, else, but, but here's a zebra. Got a little side a planter. Bar and once again, it's a tiny, oh, it's not a planter. They're calling it a match holder from uh -huh. when I researched it, a match holder. Well, you could easily put a lot of toothpicks in You could in put there, toothpicks too. in there. You could almost put a whole box of toothpicks in yeah. there. That'd be fun. And be it would be cool. really cute. Yeah. And uh, let's see what we paid those, for him. And those, those stripes, you can't really we see. We paid a whole dollar twenty one for him. You can't really see it, but the stripes are actually like uh, textured. Oh, are they? Yeah, feel it. They are. And That's then it's, cool. It's painted down in the indentations. Yeah. So we're looking at getting uh, right about 14 for That's him. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I know. I really like it. it Occupied right Japan. Oh, it does say. Mm -hmm. 
Made so in, 1940s. Made in occupied Japan. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's this little guy? This is just, it's chalkware and it's a little India. It's not Indian, it's it's India guy. Um, it's an India boy. It reminds me of that Shirley Temple movie. Do you remember? You probably didn't watch no, Shirley, I Temple, didn't watch Shirley Temple, but anyway, she it, it, this that's what this reminds me of. And it was the funniest thing. You know what? Goodwill will work with you on prices because yeah. you'll see on the shopping video. I picked this thing up and I went seventeen fifty. That that must be smoking something. And so I she took it up to the register. I put it in my cart anyway. Took it up the register and I said. I'd pay half that. And then she took it back and she took the one off of it and gave it to me for seven fifty, yeah. which is still not terrific because it's not worth a whole lot more, but it is chalkware. Did you say it's a bookend? It is. It's a bookend. Yes. If you had the other one, it might do better, but you know, one bookend works. Yeah, because you put the books up against face. one side of the bookcase. I mean, his face is yeah, so... that's what I was showing that. Oh, my gosh. Look, at it's very... It's done well for chalkware. Really done well. Why does it look green in there? That's just the light. Yeah, uh, he's not green. He's not going to no, puke. he's kind of a... <laughs> it's just the light. Yeah. But he's not green. Oh, but that's interesting, isn't it? How it does that. Anyway, yeah. So I I liked him a lot, and I was willing to pay seven fifty for him. And let's see what what can we get for him? Oh, we're looking at about oh we paid six dollars because it got twenty percent off. So we're looking at about twenty five twenty seven. So that's not bad. That's not bad for that, you know. And I like it. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. This one is one that I thought, boy, this is really nice. Jerry picked it up. I had already looked at it. I thought, eh, well, you know, I know it. I did know this actually. I knew it was California pottery, and, and I picked. Tim's it up. learning a lot. Yeah, and so I am I. And so she picked it up. She goes, "What do you think about this?" And I said, "Well, yeah, that probably gives it away that it's old. It's like '60s or '50s." Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I would say '60s, maybe with the late '60s, early '70s yeah. with color. Then we yeah. got it home and we went, "Oh, look," Jerry said. I bet there was a salt and pepper shaker that was supposed to go there. Yeah, because it's got those round, it. perfectly round. Can you imagine? I bet they were chickens. I bet they were chicken salt and peppers. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, because look, there's <laughs> eggs. Well, I know. Those are for deviled eggs. That's, this was a... This well, was a, anyway. This reminds me of, of, of how my, my one of my aunts used to bring stuff to... She would never just bring it in a Tupperware. She always brought everything she brought to family gatherings. In these real fancy places. If this like is this. not gone before Easter, I will be shocked. Oh, we'll be pulling this shocked. bad boy out. Yeah, absolutely. Because how fantastic for to serve up on on Easter for your deviled eggs, which we all have because you got, you know, you got to eat all can't those eggs. Have, the kids have, find. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can even show these. Oh, yes, because okay. it's interesting. This was one of those goodie bags that you get from Goodwill. And I saw... Anybody want a protractor? I saw this. And I didn't know what else was in there. But you know how it is with those goodie bags. You just take... It's fun. It's just fun. I like to grab them. If I see at least one thing in there that I think, oh, that's worth what I'm paying for it, I'll grab them. So this uh, it, it, is these little Oops. Snoopy bow biters that you put on toddler shoes. I guess it keeps them from untangling. This, these were made before Velcro shoes. Not before Velcro, but before Velcro shoes, probably. I think they're, um, oh, they have a UPC. I think I read the 1989, 1989, new old stock. And um, I paid $3.49 for all of this in the goodie bag. And we are getting seven, we're going to ask 17 for the bow buyer. So right there, we got way more than... And Our here's something bag. that you always want your toddler to have. <laughs> yes, this is a um, big sound harmonica. Yeah. And and still uh, in the package, never been used. Yeah. Uh, we can get about thirteen fifty for that. Wow, and that that is old. That is really old, yeah. new old stock. There is no uh, there's no, no uh, scan on this one. No. And, and look, does that have a date on that price there? Originally, wherever it was sold, it was, was a dollar a dollar thirty nine. Thirty nine. 
probably at the probably at the five and dime. Probably, probably. And then there was these four little and then plastic plates. Little plastic plates. Kids, kids can play with. I probably want to sell these. This this well, I'll either give it to one of the grands or um, I'll give None it. Of our grands I'll give it back. To, well, no, anymore. exactly. Or I'll give it back to uh, to Goodwill. Yeah. I'll just redonate it. And Maybe these two. Give these to a school somewhere. I, yeah, I might just be able to give these to a school. And there's four or five of them. Five Pro of them. Protractor still in the still in the still in the package. In the package. They're from Office Max. So I, mean, I don't know I don't know if they even use protractors in school yeah. anymore, but just I don't either. But two blue ones and you know, there were two ones. things we couldn't use. But there are two things that I can get They will more than pay for that um, bag. About thirty bucks for these two on. things. So I love to pick those up. I always go through those goodie bags because that is fun. That is like a treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. Now we have. Well, I'm not going to bring those out yet. Okay. Bring this out. Okay. A little Christmas elf shoe. It's a little elf shoe. The uh, Goodwill right. had a their big Goodwill sticker right here, and I didn't realize that it was Christmas. I probably <laughs> wouldn't have bought it, but. That's okay. I mean, I don't. What is it? I, it, I think it. On. No, I. I think it might be hobbyist. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says Joanne, nineteen eighty-seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so probably won't even list it till close to Christmas. I'll just hang on to it. Having problems over there, dear? Bringing the table a little closer. Here. Oh. What is this? This is a dresser scarf, and I'm a little disappointed in this dresser, dresser scarf. I washed it. I did not dry it. I washed it, but I still need to iron it because look at this edge. I mean, that right. really needs to be ironed, and I did not. I didn't iron it yet. But um, yeah, it's got it's got yeah. a couple of places where it needs to be re-sewn, and I don't know where they are. Well, here's one right here. There's one. So. But the point is, look at the embroidery. It's got, this is why I picked it up. It's got those sweet little birds on it. I don't know if you can see the bird. Yeah, right there. Sweet little birds on it with the flowers. It's a really nice dresser scarf. It just needs some TLC. Some TLC. Yeah. This is interesting because these are napkin rings. Okay. Okay. They're in a box. Yeah, they're, they're still in the box, but I don't think this is the right box. No. Well, yes, it even says nap. Natural. Yes, but look, crystal. it says it's hak vierstiker bleger to them. Yeah. Yeah, and these say they're gorum. They're crystal. But they're both German. They're crystal. That says it's gorum. Oh. I don't think this and they're both German, but I don't think that gorum and this are the same thing. Gorman all lead crystal. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they're nice napkin rings. I'm just not sure that's the right. Nachtmann, West Germany. <laughs> West Germany, so obviously. And yeah. there's four in a box. There's four in there, and they're just nice napkin rings that might sell for Easter. There's only four of them, they're but crystal. if they don't, then they will sell for Christmas. They usually sell for Christmas, so. I don't do fancy dinners too much anymore. No, we don't. No, we, we moved to our little retirement home that's small, we're not in a retirement home. So we left the We're in our <laughs> little smaller, we downsized. And so now we go to our daughter's houses, which are big. There's a little globe. Ohio Art. Ohio Art. Um, 10, right? 10? Yeah, it's 10. It's a 10, uh, 10 toy. It's a bank. Um, these were really, did you have one of these as a kid? I don't think I ever did. I think I did. Anyway. We were big into Buddy barrel the best I can figure. Oh, that's right. Anyway, the best I can figure, it's about early 50s, 1950s, maybe mid 50s. Um, I, these globes, I love doing this because I, I like history. And when I get the big globes, you never know what year they are until you start researching the countries. And I could spend hours looking at what countries were there to figure out the year. And I just love doing that. Well, this one's so small, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, Vietnam is all one country. That means something. And it's the Soviet Union, which obviously. Um, Did you notice that Utah and New Mexico are, are, are a different color? But yeah. I don't know why. 
I don't know why, because those countries were, I mean, those states were way before, I don't know why. That doesn't make any difference, I don't think. I don't know why. But anyway, amazing. you see these little tracks and stuff? There are like ships. They're like um, ship Nautical trails. trails. Yes. Uh, it's really kind of a neat little thing to just sit and look at and try to figure out what the world was like at that time. It's just fun. It's just fun. And at the same time, you can put a few coins in it. Yeah. <laughs> and it is on the bottom. You can open it up. So, unfortunately, there were no coins in it. But... Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to get that big, that big pie thing over here. Oh, okay. Okay. We picked this up at the uh, Enchanted, Enchanted Bullfrog. Bullfrog. Um, Which we told... Hi, Mindy. We told you we would say yeah, you in yeah. May. It's in... Buckeye, Arizona, on, uh -huh. on, oh, what was the name of the street? It was on Wilson? Didn't write no. that down, so Miller? I just said I don't Miller. remember. I'm anyway. sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot. Anyway, it's, it's downtown Buckeye. There's only one downtown Buckeye, and it's tiny. Um, we this got is this a, little pie. This is a pie holder. Yeah. I don't think you would bake the pie in it. You I think you, you could have put it in it. because it is glazed. Yeah, it is ceramic. Glazed. Ceramic. So you could have put it in the oven, but yeah. I'm saying you would probably bring it to someone's house. Yeah. In this because it's just decorative and pretty. I mean, it doesn't have any. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a paint loss here. It's not a chip. It's yeah. just a little paint loss. This has got a little bit of a, the glaze loss in here. So probably from a hot pie. I don't know. Could be. But um, if you're just setting your pie pan down in here, well, why not? You know? Mm -hmm. This is a cute little guy. Yeah. Hoo! Hoo! <laughs> Jerry and her owls. She's got all I kinds of like owls. She love loves her owls. owls. Um, either this is Blanco or it's a Blanco copy or wannabe. Knock off. Knock off wannabe imposter. Whatever. It looks nice. But it's really neat. Um, I haven't presented it to my Blanco group yet. She's um, afraid of them. Well, no, not Blanco. I'm not. They're pretty good. Oh. But it does have that real rough pond tilt. Yeah. And so I think it might be. But if, if it is, they made two different ones. Because one of them has, th these come up way higher. And I don't think it has the wings. So, I, I, before I list it, I will definitely know. Well, they're applied. Yeah. I will um, definitely know if it's blank or not before I list it. But it's cute. neat. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Hoo, hoo. I, what would, you, would you put a plant in that? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would put a plant in it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Bouquet of flowers. It's amber. It's an amber color. Really be good in the fall. Yeah. 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 Now we come to the real. The, the couple of cool ones. The yeah. real McCoy. <laughs> the real McCoy. Believe it or not, Jerry found this and it is a McCoy. It's a McCoy. I thought it was Royal Copley because I have one in this shape. <clears throat> with a deer, and you've probably seen it, but it wasn't Copley, um, and it kind of didn't really have that anyway, but I don't know what it was, but I just liked it. Would you stop? I love the pixie. I see Billy, and I see stop. Jane. These people don't even know what romper room is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, I looked it up. It's McCoy. It's not marked McCoy, but it is McCoy. And it's very early McCoy. It's got a nice like nineteen fifty one, nineteen fifties, early fifties. Yeah, but it also has. I love that little pixie. A hole there. in the back of it, so you can it's hang it. You can hang it on the wall mm -hmm. if you wanted to put some flowers it's in it. Pocket. Yeah. And your little pixie sitting there. So your little pixie. Cute. I I love this. Yeah. Love this. It's cute. Yeah, we got him at the Enchanted Bullfrog. Oh, did we get it there? Yes, we did. Nice. So I love him. I love him. Yes. Enchanted Bullfrog, Buckeye, Arizona. Now, this one I picked up at Goodwill. This is also McCoy. This is a McCoy. And it was sitting in the Goodwill. And it says McCoy on the And bottom. every time I, well, and it's a 40, 1940s. Yeah. Perfect condition. Looks like it was 
Yeah. Fresh out of the Nothing factory, right? It's got a little bit well, of... Well, no, that's not a chip, though. It's like a... It's, a little bit of glazeware. Right there. It's, it's like a factory really a chip, thing. Yeah. It, there's no chips. No, it's I, not a yeah. chip. You're right. Anyway, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's beautiful inside and out. And yeah. it's got the pine needles and the pine cones on it is yeah. what, the, what the design is. And to pick that up at Goodwill in Buckeye... That's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really Because nice. I think, what do we pay for this? Like $4.50. Yeah, $4.50. $4 and $4 and we're looking at about $57 for that one. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, about $57 awesome. for that one. So. Well. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's good shape. That's a little. A little very, very happy with that. With that buy. Something stuck in the bottom. That one and, and, and these guys, I think, were our big were our big deals the from big Goodwill. Hitters. From Goodwill. And you know, a lot of people complain about Goodwill prices and, and I do too. But I kind of realized that they're asked they they're doing what everybody does. They're raising their prices. Um and we just have to follow suit and it's just inflation and we just have to kind of go along with it and raise ours a little bit. So there it is. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, that does it for tonight, folks. That does it for tonight. Short and sweet. It is. But, but uh, we had fun. We had fun. It was a fun night. And showing you what we got. We're hoping that you continue to watch us. Yes. Continue to share. And please don't forget to like, hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Share. Oh, subscribe. and hit the bell so that you'll always know when we come on. Hit that little bell yeah. and you'll you'll know what time we're yeah. going to come on. It'll give you a little reminder. Uh -huh. But we do come on every Monday or Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday nights. That's when we schedule them to come on. Tuesday, Wednesday, I mean, Tuesday, Thursday. Wednesday, and Thursday Skip nights. today, yeah. Yeah, not Tuesday, Thursday. Uh -huh. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. and Thursday nights. Yeah. So with that, we, we say goodbye and hope everybody has a good time. Yes. Cheers. Cheers.